I'm on a mission to make an incredible feast in which I use all my creative and scientific skills to bring historical and fictional food ideas to life. The 19th century Gothic horror novels for me are the most frightening stories ever told. Tonight, I want to give my guests the same feelings of exhilaration and fear conjured up by these novels. I want to create a blood-chilling feast inspired by Gothic horror novels. Because I remember so vividly as a child reading the terrifying tales of Dracula and Frankenstein. These stories were dark, they were twisted, but they were completely compelling. The stories reflected the immense anxieties of the age caused by rapid scientific and technological change, creating waves of great excitement and great fear. Darwin's evolutionary theory challenged the role of God and the old order. Trains were replacing horses, and man was being replaced by machine. All the old certainties were being swept away. To escape from their underlying angst, the middle classes took refuge in vice from prostitution to drug addiction to gambling. It seemed no matter how much the world advanced, man would always be tormented by the baser instincts lurking in his soul. I want to try and recreate through this feast that spine-chilling thrill of being terrified by a horror story, yet still wanting to come back for more. This feast will give me the chance to explore my alter ego and play the mad scientist to create a crazy gothic gastronomy. I've invited six poor souls to my feast and I'm going to delve into my dark side to give them the most thrilling and chilling meal of their lives. I'm intrigued to know what I'm going to get when I get inside there. What is gothic food? Maybe fricassee of bat with a drizzle of vampire's blood? Uh, it could be that, or it could be rats. We're going to walk into a den of superstition and monsters. You know, if anyone can do fear uh, with class, it, it'll be Heston. I'm hoping that there'll be something that will possibly provoke or even eke out the dark side in one or two of us. I've created a gothic dungeon for my guests as they devour a dinner designed to both stimulate and excite them. Wow. Look at that. So is this Frankenstein's den? What's under there, do you think? It's vampire blood. It's a table of intrigue. I think this is what Michael Jackson's bedroom looked like. On my menu tonight, for my starter, a delicious blood-flavoured risotto that Count Dracula would love to sink his teeth into. Then a delectable and truly gothically gorgeous Frankenstein monster and a tempting and titillating dessert where my guests will be eating from their own graves.